Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So today we will discuss the harmful microorganism in this lecture. Okay, previously we have discussed that friendly microorganisms in the last lecture. Okay, so I will tell you that microorganisms are harmful in many ways. Harmful in many ways okay some of the microorganisms cause disease in some of microorganism cause disease in human beings okay plants and animals so we will discuss these in one by one okay such disease causing such disease causing microorganisms are called as pathogens okay so student we will discuss the disease causing microorganisms in human beings then in plants then in animals in detail okay so let me start with disease causing microorganisms in human beings okay students so these are called as pathogens as I told you so these pathogens enter our body these pathogens enters our body enters our body through the air we breathe through the air we breathe okay so the water we drink there are multiple ways or the feed food we eat so in this way the pathogen can enter our body so they also get transmitted by direct contact with an infected person or carry through an animal so if a like say there are two persons this is person one this is person two and let's say person one is already infected so pathogens can transmit it through person this by indirect contact let's say through the air which he exhale and through the air which he inhale so in this way pathogens can also transmit it by direct contact microbial diseases that can spread from an infected person to an healthy person are called as communicable diseases like in this way which I have told you that pass from person 1 to person B are called as communicable diseases so let me write this microbial diseases that can carry that can spread from an infected person to a healthy person through air healthy person through air is called communicable diseases okay students it can be through air through water or through food so if you take the water of the uh, deceased person so if you drink that water that was uh, drunk by deceased person so these pathogens can be 
transferred to your body okay so be safe if you are in uh, if there is one uh, disease person so that is why we always covered covered our mouths when we are in hospitals okay so there are also some insects and animals which acts as a carriers of disease for uh, causing microbes so these carriers of can be either female mosquito okay let's say how it occurs if this person is diseased okay and if the mosquito the flies mosquito cuts him and then cuts to a normal person so in this way it can also makes this healthy person as a diseased one so these are some carriers of the communicable diseases so now we will discuss about disease causing microorganisms in plants okay students so let me first delete this so now we will discuss disease causing microorganism in plants so several microorganisms cause disease in plants like wheat several micro organisms causes disease in plants like wheat rice potato sugar cane and etc okay so the disease reduce the yield of the crops okay means whatever the production was earlier so after getting the disease the production get reduced okay they can be controlled by using of some certain chemicals which can kill the microbes so in previous lecture also or in previous chapter of crop production we have discussed some chemicals to make the crop Uh, free from weeds or you can say microorganisms okay so in this way we can protect the diseases in plants so now let's discuss about disease causing microorganisms in animals so similarly in animals like in humans so these microorganisms causes disease but also in other animals for example anthrax is a dangerous anthrax is a dangerous human and cattle disease it is in both dangerous human and cattle disease okay caused by bacteria caused by bacterium students so this is the disease common to both animals and humans food and mouth diseases of cattle is caused by a virus so let me write this also food and mouth means the communicable diseases from mouth Communi mouth diseases of cattle is caused by a virus okay so students till now we have discussed about various disease causing microorganisms in plants in humans okay and in animals okay so and if you have still any doubt or any question based on this then students please do comment in the comment section i will be happy to help you guys there thank you happy learning